The State of New Mexico A state in the southeastern part of the U.S., known for its national parks, balloon festivals, hot springs and aliens. This majestic state attracts over 40 million visitors a year. It is also home to some eerie urban legends. Join us, as we learn about five urban legends from the state of New Mexico. For our first urban legend from New Mexico. Aliens under Dulce. Well it is New Mexico. You should have known we would start this one off with aliens. According to legend, a secret military base lies under Dulce. This small town is on the G. Carilla Apache Reservation, next to the Colorado border. The base, believed to be located under Archuleta Mesa, is supposedly a joint human and extraterrestrial operation. Believers claim that, when relations broke down, there was a gun battle between the humans and aliens. To this day, there are still reports of alien, as well as many other accounts of UFO activity in the area. Up next. Teratorns. Nowadays, you rarely hear much about teratorns. These birds, which were the ancestors of vultures, lived on this planet millions of years ago and have long been extinct. However, eyewitnesses claim to have seen massive birds, which resemble teratorns, within the last decade in the Las Cruces, New Mexico area, with similar reports in parts of Texas. There have also been sightings of teratorn-like creatures, sometimes called thunderbirds, reported in Lordsburg during the 1800s. One could only imagine the type of death and destruction that this giant bird would create if it indeed was still around today. Next up. Yuraka Mesa. Yuraka Mesa, which is located on the Philmont Scout Ranch, is billed as one of the creepiest places in New Mexico. Native American tribes thought this place was the entrance to the demon world. There is no shortage of strange events that have occurred here, from stories of lost scouts, to tales of eerie blue lights, to the Yuraka Mesa skull, to name a few. Yuraka's history extends back to the time of the Anasazi, also known as the Ancestral Puebloans, who lived in the area from around AD 200 to AD 1300. For our next entry. Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are part of Navajo folklore. These are human witches who are able to change into animals at night. According to Navajo folklore, skinwalkers are considered evil because their power is attained by murdering a close relative. These witches are believed to adopt the shape of owls, coyotes, foxes, crows, or wolves. There have been numerous sightings as well as alleged video footage of these sinister creatures to this day. Before moving on to our final entry, if you like the contents of this video, please consider following or subscribing, as it really helps our channel grow. Thank you again for all the support. For our final entry. The Death Waltz. This urban legend is about a soldier based at Fort Union in New Mexico. According to legend, he fell for a flighty, gold-digging woman, who agreed to marry him. When the soldier was sent out to fight the Apaches, she swore that if he died in battle, she would never marry another. She did not uphold her promise and at the woman's wedding ball, the soldier's ghost appeared, and the guests and band fell into a trance while the ghost danced with the woman, sucking the life out of her in the process. So, what did you think of the urban legends and folklore from New Mexico? What other legends have you heard of from this great state? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.